Yo, uh, what is going on? You already know it's Orlando, and today, guys, I was an 89 overall on my center. I originally made a 7 foot 3 post rebounder. He was dominant and everything in the paint, but 2K kind of screwed over the centers. I was not getting enough rep. And I really want to get this 99 overall this year and be immortalized for 2K19. So we had to switch it up a bit and I made this new dominant build. You guys already know, I can dribble a little bit, but I was never a dribble god. But now I ended up doing something I know I can grind with and streak big with and carry people with because I've always been a great shooter. I've always been green light city. So this is what I made. I picked a point guard. A three-point shooter for primary skill and a three-point shooter for secondary skill. That's a pure sharpshooter. I'm gonna be shooting lights out. I went six foot six. I didn't want to be too short, nor I didn't want to be too tall. I just feel like six foot six is the perfect height. I'm able to snag, I'm able to play defense, and you know, height really does help in this game, and I think that's gonna be to my advantage. And for the wingspan, I maxed that out because obviously you want the biggest wingspan for any player type you make. I think anyone who makes a short wingspan is actually kind of dumb because you're just in a bunch of disadvantages if you have a short wingspan. I mean, the only thing it improves is your shooting, but I'm already a pure sharpshooter, so I should be shooting lights out no matter what. So we're going with that long wingspan. And then for the weight, a pure sharpshooter is actually pretty slow. So I went with the minimum weight of 180 pounds for my pure sharpshooter because that's going to help out with the speed and hopefully we'll be able to get around some of these faster guards or stop them on the defensive end having that little bit of extra speed. And then I went with maximum shoulder width because that's only going to increase your wingspan as well. The more you increase your shoulder width, the more you increase your wingspan. There is a myth going around that if you have a small shoulder width, like a really thin body, that you're going to be able to shoot better than people with wider shoulders. And that's false. I do not believe that one bit, so don't fall for that. Just go for the maximum width for shoulder width. And then hand, I go left handed, I've been left handed since 2K14, so yeah, that's personal preference, and I'm going with left. After my player was done, I just want to show you guys my stats, I have been grinding badges and my rep, I mean I was an 89 overall on my center, and now I am an 88 overall on my pure sharpshooter. I have two players, an 89 overall and an 88 overall, come on now, you already know, Orlando grinds. The open shot mid range is like an 88, a contested midi is a 91, and then you can shoot off the dribble an 84 midi with a 99 open shot three pointer. And then you got, oh my god, these are just off the charts. You have an amazing contested three point shot, an amazing off the dribble three. Like, this is a crazy build if you just want to shoot lights out. I mean, I love being a big man, you guys know that, but I love shooting. That's something I was missing with my post rebounder. I was just, I don't know, it's not the same just doing post moves in the paint and then, you know, shooting from half court. I mean, obviously, I want to shoot from half court. I'm going to enjoy myself this year to my road to 99. And you guys just look at the rest of the stats. Just because I minimized my weight, my speed isn't too bad. My vertical is actually really good. So I should be able to out-rebound other guards I'll be defending. I mean, I'm excited for this build. I can't wait to get it out in the park and grind out there. I will be streaming my grind on Twitch. But right now, I've just been focusing on my career getting these badges. I have gotten Hall of Fame Limitless Range right now. And that's the only Hall of Fame badge I have right now. These sharpshooter badges are a grind let me tell you but in my personal opinion this is one of the better builds of the year but you have to enjoy shooting you have to know what to do without dribbling this build you cannot dribble like a dribble god whatsoever but this year in 2k18 it's more about IQ than dribbling like a dribble god. Dribbling like a dribble god isn't going to get you big win streaks or a big W. If you have IQ and you want to use a sharpshooter, you're going to go on streaks. I mean, don't even sweat it. Just because you can't dribble, there's screens, there's teamwork, and you can do so much more. For all the people that think you need to dribble to win, that is false. You guys will see throughout the year. I'm going to be going on 100 game win streaks with this sharp. Just y'all wait. I already got a wet jump shot for this player. And I was thinking about not sharing it, but how can I do my subscribers like that? I'm going to share my jump shot on a video probably this week or next week. 
This is probably the wettest jump shot in the whole entire game. No one is using it. And if you guys put on your post notifications on, you guys will be one of the first to be notified of this amazing jump shot that only my subscribers will know about and y'all will be shooting green lights. So make sure if you guys wanna watch that video to give this video a big thumbs up. But for right now guys, I hope you enjoyed and I hope I see a bunch of sharpshooters out there cause this is a really good build. But for right now guys, I'm Leo and I'm out. So you find your way back home. I know.